when I put this brewery together, I really approached it, you know, with, from the angle of loving technology and knowing what some of the modern stuff can do for the home brewer, uh -huh. as opposed to just getting a pot and boiling some water and away we go. So this is what they call a single kettle brewing system. Okay. It's everything kind of in one instead of your traditional um, hot liquor tank, uh, mash tun, and boil kettle. It's everything together in one. Okay. So this top vessel so this, is you went that way for because of the this limited space that you have limited space and cost i wanted to get a nice professional system right um but i knew that it was really crazy i mean it's crazy enough to jump in head first the way i did right but it was space but also i didn't want to get a, a three kettle brewing system i wanted to start with something a little easier and if you can do all three why not go that way sure yeah okay but when you mash in that's this is essentially it's like a giant strainer sure Right, so it's got a bottom you can see through, and sure. We do our strike water, get it up to temperature. It's an electronic control system. All I do is I dial in the exact amount of water I want, hit go, open the valves, hit start, run, and I can walk away, and this will fill up my strike water. I could to tend to eat. other stuff. Get I can mash out of exactly what you want. Yeah, you really what I'll do is I'll go out to the garage and mill my grain, as this is filling up, getting everything ready. As I mentioned before, I'm kind of a high tech nerd. Uh -huh. And so from here right away, I can see uh, my recipe. I can see what I have on stock. And if I go, as I'm fermenting, I use uh, a digital hydrometer. I drop it in there and it's tuned to uh, I have a tablet sitting right here via Bluetooth. It talks to the tablet, which uploads the data to the cloud. And I can see my fermentation in real time right here at any given point. When I'm at work, I can pull up my phone and see the temperature of yeah, the fermentation. And so this knows exactly and it calculates everything. And it really helps me build a recipe. So when I learn how to put a recipe together and how to make a good beer, I didn't go to copy off of somebody else. I didn't want to brew somebody else's beer. I want to right. brew my beer. Right. So you can here yep and, and as this is what you would see similar to what a lot of our local brewers are doing sure in their own house when you go in you get a crowler or something to take home most professional uh brewing systems that you see they're fermenters yeah this type of uh, the the temperature control element is all built in right they probably pump glycol through inside of the stainless steel sure. walls but in this case um it's just a single stainless steel conical fermenter there's nothing special in between the metal but with the neoprene, I, it helps with the control the temperature. And then underneath of this, in between the neoprene and the stainless steel fermenter, is kind of like a, like a heating pad, almost like what you would see in your water bed or your fish tank, right? Okay. And and it wraps around, and that's what helps for the heating side. And then for the cooling side, I have a glycol chiller. I keep this at 27 degrees, 27 to 29 degrees. Okay. And it's a glycol and water mixture. With water mixture, I can go a lot colder without freezing anything. Okay. And then I pump that through, and that goes inside. The glycol pumps through this, and this is a concealed coil. It goes down and then comes back up. So there's an in and an out, and that circulates the cold side. And then they're plugged into, most home brewers know these as an ink bird. Right one for hot one for cold and it just turns on or off whichever side we want i set my temperature and i'll leave it alone this thing is incredible this mission statement you have here on the wall my wonderful girlfriend hand painted this for me this was with my logo and the the slogan that we use for this and i thought it'd be really cool to have it up on the wall down here uh -huh. you know just trying to you know, just the feeling that I have in actual brewery. You know, you go to some of these guys' brew houses around here, they all, their logos and all kinds of cool stuff. And I right. just, it, it was really a lot of fun to do and um, it looks great. Spike, where you got all this equipment out of Milwaukee, yep. uh, you had told me that they kind of reached out to you because they dig what you're doing. Yes. Yeah, so what, what can you tell us without getting in any trouble? So the director of business operations for Spike Brewing reached out and they wanted to bring me into their beta, home brewer beta test program to where they will send me new equipment that they're working on and let me brew on it and then provide feedback for them. Well, they know that that's very smart on their part yeah. because you're going to give them very detailed feedback. When you're in the wizard's den, this is a question we ask all our brewers. What music are you listening to? Oh man, I'm all over the place. I'm incredibly eclectic, and I can tell you music is an important part of the brew day. That's why my speaker system that I have in here uh -huh. is right on top of the water. 
So before I strike my water to brew, it sucks in all those good vibes, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Straight from here. And then that all that, that good juju goes purpose. into the, yeah. So you have a playlist in mind? Like, give us some artists. I'm a, to. so I, I, I go, I range anywhere from, like, lately I've been on, uh, uh, gosh. I do, I, I'm on a Grateful Dead kick lately. Gra- it? Dead and Zeppelin, little old school stuff. Um, I like to go down some John Prine, some George Jones. I'm all over the place. Perfect. Foo Fighters always. Definitely Foo Fighters. When you mentioned that you were getting into this, I thought, oh boy, that's going to be a thing. And even though my expectations were through the roof, as always, my friend, you've surpassed them. So keep up the good work. Absolutely. Cheers. And cheers. The reason we're here is to talk about a very interesting collaboration, a collaboration the likes of which we have not heard of, certainly not covered here on Brood.